Welcome back to Virtual Readout. Let's start with patient history. 57-year-old female, chest pain. We have PA upright and lateral views. Let's start our search pattern. Tubes and lines. No tubes and lines. Heart. The cardiopericardial silhouette is gigantic. So, is it cardiomegaly, pericardial effusion, or both? This is a classic example of what's sometimes referred to as water bottle heart which is the term that tries to describe the shape of the heart. I guess it made for a nice paper for a radiologist who saw this and said, hey, remember those water bottles from the 1700s? But in the 2000s, most people have water bottles shaped like this. So the term water bottle can be confusing, at least it is to me. Plus, it's technically not the heart that's so big, it's the cardiopericardial silhouette that's so big and abnormal. So at Titan Radiology, we prefer the term giant blob. Or, Krang heart. When you see a cardiopericardial silhouette that looks like a giant blob, then you know there's a big pericardial effusion. There might be cardiomegaly too, but we can't know that without CT, MR, or ultrasound. This patient actually had a follow-up chest CT that showed mild cardiomegaly and a huge pericardial effusion. Usually when a pericardial effusion is this big, it's chronic. People usually don't build up this much fluid in the pericardial space very quickly. Otherwise, they probably get cardiac tamponade and die. It takes time to slowly stretch out the pericardium so it can accommodate all that fluid and not collapse the heart with its higher pressure. Mediastinum. Normal sharp contours, normal right peritracheal stripe. Here's the carina. No hilar mass. No pneumomediastinum. Look all the way up into the neck base. We see some catheter tubing overlying the left neck base, but there's no pneumomediastinum lungs. Zoom in on the right lung apex, no pneumothorax, clear. Pan to the left lung apex, no pneumothorax. Zoom out, right upper lung, clear. Left upper lung, clear. Right mid lung, clear. Left mid lung, clear. Right lower lung, including behind the right hemidiaphragm and behind the right heart and right costophrenic angle, clear. Left lower lung, there's mild blunting of the left costophrenic angle, which represents a small left pleural effusion, but the left lower lung, including behind the left hemidiaphragm and behind the left heart, clear. Upper abdomen, no free air under the right hemidiaphragm, no portal venous gas, normal bowel loops, no free air under the left hemidiaphragm. Bones, lower thoracic spine, mid thoracic spine, upper thoracic spine, right posterior ribs, top to bottom, right lower posterior ribs, right lateral ribs, bottom to top, right anterior ribs, top to bottom, right lower anterior ribs, right shoulder, right scapula is normal, right clavicle is normal, left posterior ribs, top to bottom, last few left posterior ribs, left lateral ribs, bottom to top, left anterior ribs, top to bottom, last few left lower anterior ribs, left shoulder, normal bones. Let's look at the lateral view. Lower thoracic spine, Work your way up, looking through the mid-thoracic spine. We see lung vessels, but no abnormal opacity. There's mild discogenic degenerative changes. We know that because we see these little ventral osteophytes, and there's mild narrowing of the disc spaces. Keep working up the spine until you see the uppermost thoracic vertebral body. Next, upper abdomen. No free air. Look all the way to the back of the right hemidiaphragm at the right costophrenic angle. It looks pretty sharp. No pleural effusion. Left costophrenic angle. There's mild blunting which means small left pleural effusion, which we knew from the PA view. Notice we can't see anterior portions of either hemidiaphragm. Normally, we can see the anterior right hemidiaphragm on the lateral view. But this huge pericardial effusion expands the cardiopericardial silhouette over to the right hemidiaphragm, so it's obscured on our lateral view. Next, rest of the lungs. Retrocardiac clear space. This little density is a little atelectasis from that big pericardial effusion pushing the lung out of the way. Look through the heart, clear. Retrosternal clear space, clear. Next, heart. Big pericardial silhouette from that big pericardial effusion. Finally, sternum. We can't see the manubrium, but the sternal body and xiphoid process are normal. All right, that's a classic case of giant blob, or Krang heart, or giant pericardial effusion which is almost always a big chronic pericardial effusion.
And don't forget, there could be underlying cardiomegaly too. Strong work. Until next time, take care.